Monday morning, everybody. Oh, I just woke up about an hour ago. I want to tell you what time it is, but I'm using a camera on the phone here. And anyway, oh man. First off, I'd like to say I had an extremely awesome time Friday and Saturday. Before and during and after Acme. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to put a big shout out to all that helped me find the styling I'm fixing to show you. Uh, namely, uh, Mr. Fred Henry. Yeah, he's persuasive at uh, dragging people over to uh, pretty cool pieces of uh, uh, kits that I had no idea what, that they were there. But I don't hold it against them. I'm going to enjoy building it when I do build it. Uh, came out with 11 kits from the show. Some of them, I don't know how I got them as cheap as I did. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm satisfied. <laughs> but I did also, Friday night, uh, take a uh, semi-crampy ride with Fred and uh, Brian from Got Fuels over to Hobby Town. And let me see if I can... Do this without bumping my sand here. I'm somewhat prepared, a little bit better than I normally am. But uh, I did pick this up. I, let's see if I get some glare off of it. I, yeah, I think. How about we do that? Yeah. Let me put a little piece of tape here or something. But anyway, I did pick that up. I've been wanting it for a while. As, you, as you'll, you'll be able to see here in a bit, that uh, I kind of like Mustangs. So I picked that up. While I was there, I picked up some black gray primer. Some gray primer. And oh yeah, some white primer. And I also snagged some had it black and oh yeah some more Italian red uh, you'll see here shortly I had to grab another can of that in just a bit so let me get these out of the way yeah can't even begin to fit everything in this little box I'll try but it's just not gonna happen yeah so this is gonna be a a little bit of a video here. I'm gonna try to do everything in order best as I can. I doubt it happens. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna have fun building that one. Don't know when because I've got like five, uh, 65, 66, another 67. I got a 68, 69, a 70. I might have a 71. I don't know. But yeah. I kind of likes. I kind of like Mustangs. But before I go on to the next one, I'd like to do a shout out for everybody that was out there that was extremely, extremely nice and cool. Helped me and Tammy out. Uh, of course, Fred. Uh, well, Tom, Rick Zink. And yeah, I'll probably forget people. I hope not. Mr. James Morrison, uh, Neiman. I'm glad, I hope you're doing okay, brother. Uh, Craig, Tommy, Dan, sorry about that, Rick, especially you buddy, you were really awesome all week, or all weekend, uh, like an old friend, uh, jeez, uh, JPS, the, the nice guy that sold me these engine pieces and steering wheels and stuff, uh, very, very nice guy. Uh, Matt, Luca, you was awesome. Ed, uh, you and Ernie, very nice. Very, uh, <laughs> very nice talk we had. Uh, let me think. Oh, man. Oh, I, I, my, my, my grandbabies would be mad if I forgot this guy. Santa Claus, Mr. Monty, you were very friendly, very nice. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, I'm sorry, Charlie. I'm trying not to drag it on. We did talk with you Saturday, which was great. Uh, Jethro, you kind of mentioned around in our little page there. I wish you would have been there. Uh, quite a few. I wish you would have been there. Uh, oh, let me think. I know I'm dragging this on. I don't think I'm. Of course, uh, B. Sorry, <laughs> BG, uh, Linda. You guys were freaking hilarious. Cliff, of course. They, I'm I'm slowly waking up, folks, here. It's, never do this if you don't have your breakfast or your caffeine in you. Or a few M&Ms. Uh, Tim from Throttle Power. Uh, uh, model car videos. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, sir. You, 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 got, you, you guys are all funny together. Again, Cliff. God. If y'all need to go and and, <laughs> and uh, look at Cliff uh, M, uh, GI Mechanics live video he did Saturday evening, just hilarious. I, I never laughed so hard in my life. I, <laughs> I thought I thought Rick was going to spit. Of course, you didn't see that, but I thought for sure Rick was going to spit his drink out all over poor Tom. <laughs> it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> that guy is so spontaneous of just popping, you know, something out of his mouth. <sighs> He's a he, he, That guy's a genius when it comes to that. I don't know how he does it, but he's freaking hilarious. Co comedic relief. Easy for him. Oh, let me think. Uh, Styrene Junkie. Uh, oh, I got your name here. I don't know. Yes, Tim Marshall. I'm sorry, sir. You are awesome, and uh, I'd like to thank oh, again, uh, Mr. Uh, James Morris for the uh, book for wearing uh, detailing engines. Thank you for that very much, and Monty for the uh, Santa Claus uh, picture. Uh, let's see, and I got a few of these. Of course, uh, I got there. We go. I got Cliff's new uh, shop card there, and. I was finally able to trade with Rick. Got his shop card. Very happy. I can go with the others for sure. And then Mr. Neiman. I got your shop card right there. And I did the knocking stuff over. I'd be really happy. Yep. And Mr. Tim Marshall. Got your card. Very happy. Thank you. Swap cards with all of them except for, of course, for Tim. Uh, Tom. I'll get my mouth working here in a minute. That with Cliff, he was just drawing out his new ones. Which I'm, I'll be making some new ones here pretty soon. What well, damn it, though! But yeah, I hope I got everybody. I, I don't want to forget anyone. I know I probably am. Uh, the wives, I think all of them, them and Tammy, they did, they had a heck of a time. Uh, of course, uh, Vicky, I can't forget her name. It's, if I do, <laughs> be something wrong with me. Like I said. Uh, Tammy's Otis sisters, well, Otis living sister is named Vicky, so cannot forget that. That's just impossible. Uh, Tom and Rick's wives, uh, Neiman's, I, I, I'm not sure, I think that was his girlfriend. She's really nice. Uh, James Morris is, uh, it was his son that was with him. No, yeah, yeah, that was, that was cool meeting them. Uh, Ron Stewart, uh, nice to meet you. I didn't talk with you much. He was kind of, he was pretty busy. So I think that's everybody. They were really outstanding. Everybody's really friendly. So, and Tammy did have fun, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, she's wanting to go back real bad this next year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she enjoyed herself. She liked me running around her acting like a little kid, which. I loved watching you know, all the guys acting like little kids in there. It was fun. Oh, yeah, especially when uh, Thought Fuels did his video and Fred came around and grabbed me by the neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was freaking hilarious. Oh, shoot. But, yeah. I, I, again, I know I'm going to forget somebody, but I, I could have. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I fired off everybody's name. Everybody there that was in the hotel showed up to the hotel. Yeah, really cool. There was some, quite a few fellas. I don't didn't know their names. But they were very, very nice. Their wives were very nice. Yeah. 
maybe I'll maybe this next time around I'll get to know you all a bit better too. But again, I was like a little kid there. I just I couldn't stand still long enough to. Uh, well, I stood still once to take a picture from the steps out. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I shoot. Again, I told myself I wasn't gonna get crazy, get out of control on buying this and that, and I was good for about five minutes. <laughs> So long enough to sit down and shoot the bull with uh, Tammy and whoever else was sitting down taking a break. But yeah, there was quite a, the vendors, very, very nice people. Uh, but yeah, I think Monty was selling some stuff and Gron was. They had a table, a little part of the table doing something. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't do any, any videos out there. I did, I do have a video of Fred and Brian presenting uh, Fred's uh, tribute to Rick's daughter to him. I will be putting that up sometime today. Uh, probably be later on this afternoon. So once I get this finally done, <clears throat> should, like we got somewhere to go, take care of some much needed grocery shopping and run in Walmart for her meds and uh, a wall clock that she was going to, she was trying to change this morning. Tam Tammy tried to change a clock battery or turn the time back and she dropped it. And needless to say, it's in four, five, six pieces. So, yeah, we're going to have to go buy a new one. I'm not putting my Dell Senior and Junior in there. If she did that to that, I, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if, if that got messed up. But th that clock is over 20 years old, at least, and it's still running. Which I need to get it out of the man cave and bring it in here. I got a place to put it. But anyway, I'm done jabbering. Uh, hopefully, I, I've thanked everybody. Uh, done a shout out to everybody. Uh, like I said, everybody was amazing. And I felt like I was in, with family. Uh, let's see. Oh. Mm. Yeah, let's do GPS's uh, products. Uh. Mm. These are... And I don't know how big you can be a seat here in a second. Uh, let's see. Up. But his quality of work is pretty darn good. Of course, I don't know really because I don't. I've not messed with any 3D products before, which I need to change that. Well, yeah, forget it. Anyway. This is. There we go. Set up three steering wheels, different kinds, each are different. <clears throat> but yeah, there's that. <clears throat> yeah, a little stuffy this morning. Nothing bad, it's just the, the weather, that's all. Uh, but yeah. Pack of 572. Uh, this is what Fred had. I can't remember this. 2018 or 19, he, he bought from this nice man. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Got me an LSA detailed engine. Yeah, lots of parts. Lots of parts. Uh, and got me two battery boxes with batteries. I really didn't know exactly what I wanted. That's what I got from him. And then towards the end, I went towards the more or less straight down the steps, down the center, off to the right. Uh, I went looking. Maybe I'd find another kid or something I might want to latch onto. And it didn't happen. But I did find this air, uh, large air cleaner. I'm sure I could find that, put it on uh, one of my kids. And I bought a resin body. Uh, this is a, a TA fiber concept car 125 scale. Body, grill, side fins, hood, and spoiler. Uh, funny thing, it can be used with the AMT Camaro kit. Uh, namely the one I just finished building. Luckily I went and bought a new one. Uh, which I'll show you. It's not the same one. But yeah, there we go. That's what I picked up. So, yeah.
Yeah, this would be my first resin body to RIM paint it all up. So we'll see that down the road sometime. I'm not sure when. I'm trying to do this video to where it's not ungodly too long, but yeah, we know how that all goes. And good thing, uh, splash paints were being sold there. Splash paints themselves wasn't there, but they had a representative, I guess. Uh, I picked up this one, one of many, uh, flame red. Looks orange to me, but I don't know. They want to shake it up. Uh, I needed these two. There's one I ran out of, and the other I'm running low on. My primers, or as they say, surfacers. My black primer is much needed. Uh, picked up this Millennium Jade. That would be for, uh, you'll see. That's for another build, too. And one that I'm extremely surprised. I didn't know. I didn't have a clue they had this coming out. Petty Blue. I picked up three of these. And that is for another project, too. And while I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. These. I should have put in with the uh, Tamiya primers and paints. I picked these over at Hobby Town too. Running low on these babies. My Microsoft Microset. Much needed. But one of the things that I was really surprised about, and a lot of us take it for granted, you get these really great carrying cases. But from what the fellow told me, these are the older ones. Because, I'll show you real quick, hopefully I don't blind you while you're popping in the camera. They already come with the mirror on the bottom and the background already into it. Already set up. I only paid six dollars. No, sorry, five dollars for this one and, and, and the one I got here, the two. So I paid $10 for two. And Hobby Lobby, they don't have the mirror or the background on it. They're still good cases. But they were $12 at my Hobby Lobby. Maybe $13. So yeah, I latched on two. Tammy told me to go grab two more. But I felt bad because they were, they were the boxing. But there's a lot of people, you know. I want to be, I didn't want to be greedy. I figured give everybody a chance to get, get some too. And, and you'll see in Got Fuel's uh, video he did yesterday that I was trying to, you know, get everybody, let everybody know that they were back here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty organized. But yeah, I did get, oops, excuse me, hit my chair. I did get Monty's, uh, Santa Claus picture, which was awesome. Uh, again, Mr. Morris, thank you for the, uh, the booklet, sir. I will be putting that to good use here very soon. Let's get to the uh, styrene. Okay, this, of course, that's what I was talking about. Hold on, let me see if I can do some little magic here. Maybe that help with the glare a little bit. Of course not. Hmm. There we go. This is, of course, the Indy Pace car for uh, 2016's Indianapolis 500. This will be the one I'll use with the uh, that resin body I showed y'all. Yeah. It's got almost the same same design and lines, except the hood and the grill part's a little different. But yeah, maybe the, the spoiler might be a little different. But in, all in all, it's got a lot of the same lines. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I may even just go out and buy me another different one because I think it'd be cool to build that one too. We'll see. Like I said, it's something down the line. Uh, this one here, I've been wanting since I was a kid. And I, if I remember, I, I only 
pay ten dollars for it. Everything's still in the bag. Also, yeah, I'm a big Miami Vice fan. I liked this one better than the Ferrari. I know he's just cooler to me. It does look kind of ugly compared to all the new sports cars that have come after it. But yeah, for five dollars or ten dollars, it's it's nice. It's gonna be easy to detail the interior. I think. I can't remember if it had any springs or anything. I, I just looked through it real quick. Like I said, it, it's still in the bag. Uh, yeah, let's let's get this old bus car real quick. I did tell you earlier on in this uh, now twenty minute video. Oof. Yeah, I'll catch wind on that. But anyway, let's get over it. That one I'm pretty happy finding. I like these hot rod kits. I think I've got another one somewhere in my stash. I can't remember what it was. But my first, one of my first ones, besides the one my dad bought me when I was a kid, the 57 Chevy. My second one I found, I know, almost found. I got real close to it, but it was a different, uh, it was an AMT or AMC, but not the the red, white, blue dragster that I thought was my second one. That was a Johan. My third one was not this kit. But it was the black, I don't know if it was a Chevy or a GMC uh, uh, hot rod pickup truck with the, uh, I think it was a step side. No, but yeah, good memories with these. And I'm pretty sure I built this one too when I was young. I did, when I was, yeah, when I was living in Kansas City, you know, we was going crazy with that. And good, I'm glad I was able to find one. There was a couple more of these different ones, but yeah, this I was definitely happy to find. I can that in a second. This one I missed out. I think three years ago, I was over in Paducah. There's a little, little. Uh, it's mostly with the uh, uh, Lionel and all those different trains, model trains, but there's a back corner of his hobby shop that has model cars and all that and me and my brother and I think my son was with us went and got a couple one or two kits and started back towards the cash register and, and I saw this one and I always kicked myself for not getting it so when I saw this and it was a really good price you know to me it's hard to find I latched onto this one. So, yeah, I'm gonna have fun building that one. Again, it's a Mustang theme a little bit. And this last one in the bunch. This is because of the color on the, the splash paint's green color that I uh, picked up it is mainly because of this one here. Yeah, picked up the bullet. So, I was happy to find that. I've been been looking for this one too so, so I got a lot of my bucket list out of the way as far as styrene kits finding so I'm really happy about that so yeah another one that would be fun to build down the road and don't know when I will uh, side I did pick up some more bare metal. I got the matte aluminum. I think that'd be fun. That way it's not too shiny. Some of these different vehicles. Uh, this is the one uh, that I can thank Mr. Fred Henry on. Yeah, I'm back. I got this big boy. Mr. 116 scale Indy Pace car Corvette. It's 1979, I believe. I think. I want to say it is. Right before they brought the actual Corvette out, it's a, it's a 
the 70, 1978 Indy 500. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. This is going to be fun to build. Uh, sometime. This one I was surprised I found. This one. Oop. Sorry about that, folks. There we go. This one I got for $10. And it's also the same scale as that one I just showed you. 1912 model, four model T. It's number one in a set of six of them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I thought it was pretty cool. I never built anything uh, this old before. So I'm hoping I have as much fun as I think I'm going to. Not a whole lot of parts, but I don't know about you, but it, it's pretty detailed looking to me. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I've got all the paints I need for that. So yeah, that'll be built down the road. We'll save that last big one for at the end. And I did, like I said, bucket lists and all that. Finally, a pretty nice looking to me a motorcycle. Well, again, not even near the price that it should have been sold. Uh, yeah, these things are like sixty to eighty dollars. I only got it for twenty. Still in the bags and everything complete. Look at that. Oh, the instructions out of the way. Going ahead. But yeah, everything's still in the bags, as if it was the day it was sold. Very happy, everything's in good condition, everything's broke. I checked it, yeah, the, the, people are nice at the vendors, they let you open the box, check everything out, you know. Very, very, very nice cloud, crowd, not cloud. Uh, mouth has not woke up completely, let's get in there. This one, this one is definitely part of my bucket list. Yeah. Uh, BG, he has built this one. Uh, this is goes with the Italian red that I got. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mrs. BG, Vicky, uh, picked out the color. <laughs> well, and we'll leave it at that, Brian. We, we, we'll get, no, yeah, we'll let me. But yeah, I picked this bad boy up. I got it for $35. But as detailed as nice as this thing is yeah if you pick try to pick this up on ebay you'd be paying four times that much easily for this kit and it's very worth it uh, your doors open your the front and the back open full engine i mean this is a super detailed kit so yeah i am very very happy to get this and finally folks I'm sorry, this is so long. Let's just make sure, make sure, look around. I don't want to forget something and then have to do another video. Oh, yeah, before all that, I am so sorry, Rick. Skelly just fell over. I can't believe I forgot about it. Yeah, see, look at that. Uh, Mr. Rick Zink was kind enough. Oh, not only to give me one, but Tammy got one too. Little Munch and Little Mac. <laughs> And yes, Charlie, he's going to have uh, ape hangers in the works. I don't know how, but I'm going to try to work on some tattoos on the arms. <laughs> so yeah, this can be Little Mac up here. And might as well say normal size lunch. This is short enough. Uh, but yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. I was, that was one of the things I was waiting for when I got there Friday. I was waiting for Rick to hand those out. I am. I'm so happy. Oh, which reminds me. Let's stand by one second, folks. All right, folks. I'm sorry. I had to pause that. I, just got to, I knew I could get something before I do this last. And I'm missing something else. Uh, good thing about Acme this year, as they told me, they gave these out. So that'll be going up by, right beside my bus excuse me, Bus Brian's Balls pin. 
damage. Okay, cool. My pog is still up. But yeah, I do that. Okay, one more thing. This be real quick. Okay, folks. I'm glad I paused it. it. Took me a while to find it. It was in. It was in the bag where I did everything, but it was in the front. Uh, and with the uh, nail clipper somehow. But uh, got this from BG. Uh, Papa Dan forgot to hand hand me one of his out, but it's coming in the mail. Uh, with uh, uh, yeah, the Tiger Ming group build one that they're making up is going to be coming in with that one, and also me and Charlie's getting egg plane ones made up. Of, uh, well, Dan's doing it for us. Uh, we've already made arrangements, got it all taken care of. And we've got enough that'll be made up for the next four years of uh, doing the egg plane build. So, yes, everybody that gets into it has fun, of course. But uh, all you that get into it will be receiving one of those. Uh, at least for the next four years. So, we're set for that. Uh, so, I figured put that out there real quick. Uh, definitely happy for this. You said Cole Bryant had to get up there by, of course, by Dan's. Put that up uh, with a coin here, which was great 3D printing job. It's very nice. Enjoyed it. Get one of these good memories every time I look at it. But get down to the last last kit. This one is nice and sealed. This was the by far the best deal I think. I think it was only, I think I spent, I think I spent maybe 40 for it. I can't remember. Let's see if we can get it in there. Yeah. Yes. And that is what the Petty Blue is for. This big boy right here. Yeah, sorry, 35. Pay 35 for this. Sealed. Nothing, no blemishes on the box. So, yeah. Yeah. For old Fred did a backflip when I told him how much I paid for it. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he's he got one. Uh, I think he got it. I want to say last year, but it might have been the year before. So, I think he got his at Hobby Town. I think he paid, uh, the, uh sadly say, he paid a, a bit more for his. But you never know what you're gonna find. I'm guessing uh, at Acme, or yeah, um, this year, next year is gonna, yeah, I'm gonna bring bring some more money. <laughs> oh Lord! But I had fun. I'm sorry I had a, this video was so long. But yeah, I figured get everything done and out of the way. Uh, if I forgot thanking somebody, I apologize. Uh, you know, let me know. I'll probably remember as soon as I uh, finish this video. But it was definitely from, yeah, you know, being my very first model show I've gone to. I've gone to a couple conventions for comics and stuff like that, but far and few in between for those anyhow. But this is definitely a first. Uh, was not disappointed at all. Uh, I will be back next year for sure. Ain't, uh, one way or another, I'm going to make it. So, yeah. It's in my blood now. <laughs> so I don't think I forgot anything. I sure hope not. I've done this, been on here long enough. Uh, other than that, uh, y'all tell me what you think about what I got. And uh, uh, if anybody wants any more shop cards that I haven't got any, uh, just put it down in the uh, description. I'll put my email in the down in. Oh, uh, sorry. In the description. I need to give me some caffeine. Oh. And we will talk to everybody later. Y'all take care. Be safe.